everybody. We've got a, uh, a new game here for you today. It's called Game Dev Tycoon. Now, it's been in a bit of the gaming news recently because of uh, a little action they took in their game. And uh, also because a lot of people think it's quite similar to uh, Game Dev Story, which came out on iOS and Android uh, a few years back. Now, I've decided to have a look at this. Because I was always interested in uh, Game Dev Story when it was shown to me a couple of years back, but never really got around to it. So I've been playing this for a little bit, and just pretty much started a new game. So here we go. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, Gain fans and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. So, we are going to call ourselves Phoenix Productions. And I am going to be Senior Titans. Tina, apparently. Titans Creed. And I'm going to be... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be hipster, hipster nerd. Yeah, hipster nerd. Okay, so we are going to develop ourselves a new game. Okay, now before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You should also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. So, what do we want to choose? So, we've got a choice of four topics to start with. So, I'm going to go with a bit of a... Hmm, I'm going to go with a medieval game. And I'm going to have... A medieval... No, I'm going to have a space. I'm going to have a space adventure. And we're going to do it on... Now, the G64 is going to be more expensive to do, but it has a higher market share. Or I could do the PC, which will be a lower cost to do, but it has a lower market share. I'm going to go on the G64 to begin with. So, what are we going to call our game? Huh. Let's call it, in a, in a heyday back to uh, one of the very first Amiga games I played, we're going to call it Beyond the Frontier. So it's going to cost me 25 grand, and I have 70. So, let's go. Right, we're going to have... Oh, let's go all out. 2D graphics. Right, so game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate, which I presume are these four points up here. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. Uh, if I want a brief description of the... Uh, no. So, we want to really push gameplay and the engine and we'll have story and quests there but not so much of an overarching feature. So let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. All the things. Game development has now started. Thank you, game. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up, which are all these. Game points are divided into design and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Okay. From time to time, there will also be bug... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released and increase development time and cost. Right, so yeah, basically, after the game is finished, which I presume is that bar there, I've got to spend time to do bugs. I have a DeLorean, by the way, in my garage. So, three bugs. Right. Uh, dialogue, not going to be so much. Uh, not really going to bother about the AI, although it'd be good. So, we'll have more AI than dialogue. Yeah, let's go with that. That's right, you scratch your head. Interesting. Come on. 
This has taken nearly three months to do. During the development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features make the game generally better, but also increases cost. You'll also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change graphics mid-game. Aha! So that. So yeah, I can turn basic sounds off if I want. Uh, no, we'll do that. Let's see how that works. Um, ah, can I not break 10? I'd be disappointed. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Yeah, I don't want a game releasing with four bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. You should only ever consider that if you need the cash, you can't afford to wait. Right, okay. Re 10 design. Uh, okay, leave it till the end of the month, and then we'll release. Re. Oh. No, I'm solving that bug first. Thank you. So we finished our game. So, right. Development of the game is finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay. Right. So new topic, new combo. Okay, so I get a 1.4 times bonus, I presume, for all my experience. So this looks like the effort I've put into all the bars, and me. Let's see how we do. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. You finished your first game, huzzah! While you develop the game, you've also gained research points. You can use these points to unlock new options for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Uh, okay. Ooh. Research. It's important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okay. Try to develop games with a different topic and genre for a slight research boost. Uh, well, I can't obviously afford the custom game engine yet, so let's unlock racing. Because people like a good racing game. Aha, so the first reviews for the newly released game Beyond the Frontier came in. Okay. Don't be low, don't be low, don't be low. Oh no, that sucks. Oh god, that sucks. <laughs> oh dear. Apparently people don't like space adventure games. Although that's a bit of a better score. Waste of money. Waste of money means spending on that. It costs 60 grand. Jesus. Okay, well, we need to do something better than that then. Still, it's not too bad, I imagine. I mean, I still made more than my monthly cost, but I need to make enough to... Now that the game is on sale, you receive the income from the game every week. You can see how your game is doing by looking at the sales graph at the top right of the screen. Okay. See, I need to make enough money back to... Re new racing. So, we've got more research. We're waiting for money to come in. So let's learn another topic. Let's learn city. What up? Perhaps we can make a better SimCity game, eh? <laughs> uh, I'm such a kidder. Uh, right, we need to. Are we not going to make. We're not going to get above 75 grand with this, are we? Because, no, look at that. Okay. Let's develop a new game. Um, let's go for a racing simulation let's go for the PC because we haven't really got enough money to do that so let's call it haha <laughs> dridge racer ho <laughs> uh, ho next uh, 2d graphics can't really oh so those sales are gonna save me but right well don't want any story requests we want engine and we want gameplay so let's do that Yeah, it's alright. I've got enough to research another thing if I need to. Uh, dialogue, not so bothered in, but let's put the AI up. We'll have level design, one would presume, for tracks? I would guess. Ooh, bugs, 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 all the bugs. 
Uh, there's lots to worry so much about the world design at the moment. Or rather, let's put world design up, but lower the graphics and the sound a bit. See how we go from there. I made 35 grand. Uh, Dovador, so I uh, would presume Commodore 64? Spot the references in this is going to seem to be, isn't it? It might spell the end of computing hardware manufacturers. I think it will change things up a bit, but I don't know about ending. Let's fix these bugs. Let's fix it quickly, otherwise I'm going to go bankrupt. Oh no! Right, so my bank account is in the red. Thankfully my bank has enabled me to overdraw my account up to 50 grand. But be careful, if my account balance is below 50 grand, I will go bankrupt. So I have a bit of a buffer. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, let's finish this. Let's get it out and sell it. New records. New topic. New combo. Ooh, a great combo. Awesome. That's what we like to see. Come on, let's have some better stats. Ooh, I'm nearly level two. Right, so Dridge Racer. Let's have a look at the reviews for Dridge Racer. Shows potential. Six, it's not bad. Ooh, nice experience on a seven. Good game. Good game. And enjoyable. Well, that's much better than our first game at least so hopefully that should make us some sales in the meantime let's do some research let's get some more uh, let's go for fantasy and let's hopefully get some decent sales going because we don't really need to get out of the red oh look at that so successful we have 29 fans I've just finished Dread Racer and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracted business and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short of cash, let me know and have some work. Ah, oh, so if I don't want to just make another game, I can make some money, I imagine. Okay, this is good. Let's finish our research. The Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Oh, game. Oh, game. While industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles would take off, we're eager to see what the Invento will deliver. <laughs> if only you knew. If only you knew. Fantasy. Huzzah. Right, let us learn another topic. Which one do we want to do? Let's learn Spy. That'd be interesting. Let's see my sales are still going well. We achieved a company sales record of over 10,000. It's an important milestone in the history of Phoenix Productions. It's good. We want to hit that 50k mark next. That's what we want to do. And I've successfully researched a new topic, spy. Right, so let's have a look at this contract stuff. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some extra cash when your balance is low and can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Aha, okay. Contracts require you to generate a certain number of design and technology points before the time runs out. Uh-huh. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty. Right, okay. Want to be super careful here then. Uh, let's do some playtesting. Right, I see. So I've got to empty these while I, until the time runs out. Oh, I seem to be doing all right. There, there we go. Loads of time. Twenty grand. Brilliant stuff. Uh, contract was completed successfully, excellent work, new contracts every six months. Okay, fair enough. So we're nearly at the end of the first year, and uh, we've done two games, I've made 120 grand. That's not bad, so I'm out of the red. But this is good. Right, so let's develop a new game. Um, let's, let's try 
making Sin City. Ho ho ho! Um, hilarious. Uh, I've got the money, so I'm going to go back on the G64. Uh, 2D graphics, yeah, that's alright. It's cost me 30 grand, so let's get back in. Nintendo has confirmed rumours they're planning to a new gaming console called Tez. One would assume Nintendo Entertainment System, but there we go. Uh, console features cartridge based games and a uniquely designed controller, so I assume I should be able to develop games for the Tez. Ha, right, Cincy. Uh, don't, we're doing a simulation game. Uh, let's put the gameplay up and the engine down. Don't care about story or quests. Because it's SimCity, who needs a story? Uh, don't care about dialogue. We can turn the artificial intelligence down. We'll focus on level design. Put a little bit of dialogue up. Just because we can. So, where are we headed next? Yeah, we want basic sounds. Uh, not so much bothered about that, but let's put these up. Uh, it's not going too badly. Let's just get these bugs sorted. There we go. So, we'll finish. record of both, new topic, new combo, great combo, brilliant stuff, level up, level up, no story request, we don't care, no dialogue, level up in design, artificial intelligence, graphics, and sound, myself, yay! Uh, right, so, let's do some more research then, uh, the wild wild west, actually yeah, let's do a wild wild west, First fuse. Fingers crossed. It's not looking good. I've seen better. It's going to be an average game. Better than average. That's good. Seven. Quirky, but good. And they shouldn't forget about artificial intelligence. Oh, really? Artif AI in a, si a simulation game, eh? Fair enough. Wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but let's hope it sells. Uh, not strong sales. If I can break 10 grand, I'll be happy. Uh, successfully researched one new topic, Wild West. So, uh, let's research. What else do we want to research? Music? Hmm. Interesting. Let's do that. Come on, get to 10k sales, please. Yeah. There we go. Such a big jump off, though. Today, the new game has been... Oh, okay. Search a new topic. Let's uh, do some uh, contract work and... Uh, yeah, let's do that one. We'll get the last research point and then we'll learn something else and then we'll start working on our next game. Since we're still in the green, we're making profit. We can't complain. Three, two, research point, done. Good job, an extra 20 grand. Can't complain at that. Uh, research, what can we research next? Business, do we want to do a business game? No, let's do a sci-fi. Let's learn sci-fi. We've got 153 fans now, we're doing well. And since it is off the market, nearly made 100 grand on its own. So not as popular as racing games. Racing games go down well. Now successfully learned sci-fi. So let's develop a new game. So game four. Let's, let's do a Wild West action game. Uh, I don't really want to drop 80 grand. So let's make it for this because it's still got a really decent market share. Uh, what what should we call a Wild West game? Western. Um, Western what? Ooh. Because I am bland as anything. Western action. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, 2D graphics. We don't need anything else really. I'd really prefer not to do text games. Um, let's put the story up. Because if we don't start leveling this up, it's going to fall behind, I think, later on. So let's bring that down. Have an engaging story, but because it's action instead of adventure, let's keep the gameplay up. Uh, right, we obviously lost out on the artificial intelligence. We want some dialogue. We can turn down the level design and up the dialogue, I think. It's only a 2D game after all. enough research to learn another thing. I'm wondering if I should save up enough to start doing a uh, combat engine. Uh, what design we're not so much bothered about, so let's keep graphic design up. Let's get those bugs fixed, and then we'll release and we'll see how we do. That should be a... Hooray! New topic, new combo. Uh, not a great combo then. Oh, oh. Let's just skip all through all this. Yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. Everything's level two. Uh, right. Let's do some research. Startups. Hmm. Let's pirate games. Pirate games are always got to be cool. Ha! First of you. Right. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's looking good. Focus on graphics of this game very well. Eights. Like eights, give me a nine. No, I don't know. Eight. Oh, tens. I saw you jump to tens. Nine is still good. Give me a ten. I'll go with eight, eight, nine, eight. I, I'm not going to complain with that. So, ooh, that looks good. Ooh. And we've learned pirates, so let's research. Wow, there's not really a lot there, is there? But I'm guessing I can't learn anything else until I've, uh, I get further down, so... Well, that's really good. Come on, 25k. Give me 25k games. Ah, oh, that'll easily be done. Yeah, brilliant. Successfully researched a new topic. Government, yay! Right, so let's do... Let's do that one. It's not as big as penalty as the others, but come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, release the Tez home console system has proved to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Okay. Uh, I love the games that come with the Tez and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Okay. Oh no, I'm not going to meet this one. Oh. Penalty of 6k. Okay, so I'm obviously not good enough yet. Western action. It made 232 grand. Did pretty well. Okay, so we haven't got enough research points. So let's develop a new game. Let's let's drop 80 grand and let's get a license for this. Let's see how we do. Um, we did well on racing games, so let's do another racing simulation. What can we call this one? Let's see. Um, oh boy. Well, uh, Asphalt Racer. There we go, Asphalt Racer, that'll do us. This is gonna cost me 40 grand, I've already paid 80 grand for the license, so we'll have 2D graphics. This one's going to be expensive, but one presumes I don't have to buy the license anymore. Uh, don't need story in a racing game. Let's put the engine up a little bit. Let's put the gameplay up even more. Oh, there we go. You get two points at once now. This is good. Going to branch out into a new thing. Uh, we want... Don't need dialogue. Let's put level design and have our artificial intelligence up. Because, obviously, you know, artificial intelligence against racers is always going to be good. Uh, okay, let's put world design up a little bit. We'll go from there. Well, this is good. Let's just get those bugs sorted. 
There we go. So let's oh, finish there. It's definitely going to be a new bonus there. New record. No bonuses to XP. But let's see how we do. Asphalt Racer. I'm liking it's bouncing a lot to tens. Eight. Racing Simulation is a great game. We know this. Oh, nine. The, oh, go on. My first Tez system game is going to look good. Very good. Awesome. That's good. Right. Let's see if we can get research. Give me a new topic. Romance. Really? Jesus. Don't forget, creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu. Right, I really should start saving up research points then and building myself. Uh... Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age group. Okay, so basically PCs will be for the older age group and uh, home consoles will be for the younger ones. Yeah. Okay. Target audience. Okay. Well, that's done really well so far. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at contract work while that's sorting itself out. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Right, now get those last five points, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Uh, that's a 315 grand. Them. Following the mass success of the Tez console, there are now rumours circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. I don't know who Vina is. We'll find out, I guess, when they release the console. Right, I am, however, going to call that an end for this episode. And I'll see you back for another episode soon.